Well, since I had the camera out, I decided uh, I'd give a quick rundown of a few records I picked up yesterday while out uh, thrifting. Uh, I'm going to have to read them pretty well off a sheet of paper here since uh, I had to look them all up on Discogs. I'm not familiar with any of them and haven't cleaned or played any of them yet, so uh, hopefully they're not too bad. Uh, the visual condition of them was pretty good, so hopefully they do clean up well. Oh, the first one I picked up was by Rod McEwen. It's a uh, called About Me. It's a spoken word album. He is a well, he was a poet apparently from the uh, Beat Generation. Uh, I'm hoping it's a rather interesting album. And then uh, there's a group of four I picked up from one shop that starts with uh, Joe Venuti. It's called Stringing the Blues. He's a jazz violinist. It's a German pressing. Uh, I'm quite interested in that one. And that, uh, from the same place, you also got one by a fellow called Rob McConnell and the Boss Brass. It's a um, called Jazz Big Band, according to Discogs. And uh, I also picked up from that place an uh, album by Rex Smith called Sooner or Later. This one's supposed to be pop. And uh, something by, uh, uh, well, I don't know, someone called Evie. Uh, it's, it's Come On, Ring Those Bells. It's supposed to be a pop gospel album. I had to pick up those two because uh, the store I was, got them from was selling the albums uh, four for a buck. So after I picked up the two jazz albums, I had to pick two more from their pile. Uh, then I... Uh, from another shop, I picked up a Joan Baez called Noel. Hopefully, uh, I always liked Joan. I had never heard of Christmas albums before. Uh, what do we got next? Okay, the next one is an album by Lobo. Uh, the cover is slightly damaged. The record itself doesn't look bad. I'm not sure about the glare there. Uh, according to Discogs, it's a soft rock folk country talk album. And then, uh, oops, okay, this cover doesn't look to be in too good a shape. The album isn't in bad shape, though. It's an album called Shooter. It's printed uh, upside down on one side, right side up on the other. Oops. Uh, oh, okay. It's a sort of a gatefoldy looking thing. It's supposed to be a rock album. Well, that should be interesting. Uh, and then, uh, I mean, who could drop or uh, not pick up a, when you come across a Chubby Checker album? This is a soundtrack recording from a, something called Don't Knock the Twist. It includes uh, the Dovetails, the Carroll Brothers, the D.D. Sharp. This one uh, actually looks quite interesting. Okay, well, who's, what the heck? Ah, okay. The next band was called Sweet Level-Headed. I've never heard of them, but uh, who knows? It's also a gatefold, if I can get it opened. And according to Discogs, this is Glam Classic Rock. And then, uh, oops, <laughs> sorry. I picked up a Linda Ronstadt and a Nielsen Riddle Orchestra Band. Uh, this is called What's New, and it's a uh, jazz country big band, according to uh, the Discogs friend they're looking up on. I'm going through these pretty quickly, since I have not to listen to any of them. The next album I picked up was uh, by, oh boy, I'm going to mispronounce this one, Shilomo Minst playing Paganini, a 24, uh, where did it go, 24 Caprici for solo violin, opus number one. Now, this album claims to be all digital, like it was digitally recorded, digitally produced, digitally mastered, and uh, then stamped to a uh, record, so uh, I don't hold too much hope for that one. I'm not really too fond of digital, uh, complete digital recordings, uh, but I couldn't resist picking it up. And from there, we move to uh, UB40 Present Arms. This is supposed to be reggae or dubstep. I've got one other UB40 album, and they're not bad, so that should be okay. Uh, I came across an extended play. Well, actually, I think the album's called Extended Play by The Pretenders. 
interesting. It's then an album by the Crusaders. This is supposed to be smooth Jagger funk. Uh, it's called Images. And one thing I did miss when I was going through them all, if I can get back to uh, the gospel album, internally, it not only came with the original sleeve with the uh, lyrics, it came with a nice picture of the uh, artist who did it. So that wasn't a bad, uh, bad day's haul. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and as always, like, comment, subscribe if you like the videos.